We are investing in AI over a billion for the next two years, while, of course, we are also applying AI internally. So we will try for higher mm. automation, automation of activities. So it's all about reskilling and, of course, also, you know, making sure that SAP on its own becomes more productive. So it's actually an adaptation of our workforce to the new reality yeah. and securing our future growth. OK, so it's about reskilling, about adapting the workforce. But will AI mean that you end up with fewer staff in the end? I understand in a year you might not. But in the end, is that where AI takes SAP and takes the, the global software workforce? I mean, Anna, what we actually also posted today, you saw, you know, we are increasing our guidance. Uh, we are very confident about the growth potential of SAP until 2025 and the years beyond. And so SAP will also further invest. So... We actually expect that at the end of the year, we actually end up with the same headcount as we, as we left 2023. And for the years to come, there will be investments, there will be headcount growth, but of course, under proportional to our top line growth. You've talked about the cloud business, the growth in the cloud business this morning. It does, an analyst seem to be suggesting, and you've said that it's still accelerating in 2024. Where are we in the underlying uh, customer appetite story around cloud from SAP? Uh, we, we, we just talked about ASML. It's about, res it's about supply chain, more resilience. It's about uh, also fighting inflation and also coming up with higher productivity. This is what business leaders talk about. And this is SAP. Actually, we are embedding AI everywhere. We try for automation. And also about, it's also about sustainability with the Green Ledger and with the decarbonization. What we can also help our customers with, with, this is spot on. This is what our customers need. So General Motors, ASML, all of these customers also now, you know, betting on SAP to help them to achieve these business goals. And when you look at our total cloud backlog of over 44 billion, you see what is already in the books, which also shows how resilient SAP in the meantime is. Mm. Last year, you, on the AI front, Christian, last year you partnered with Google. You invested in Aleph Alpha, in Anthropic and in Cohere. Do you plan further mm -hmm. AI investments this year? Actually, we just announced a partnership with NVIDIA. NVIDIA is actually a great story. I mean, they are, again, uh, our customers, and they just made a huge bet on our technology to also build more resilience into their supply chain, to better predict sales, to further automate other functions inside NVIDIA. That's a fantastic showcase. While we are also co-innovating together on AI to really build the most a powerful AI platform for businesses. And so we, you're going to see further partnerships, but of course we are investing in a lot to also further you know, go into organic innovation in the field of AI.